a lot of times we do get questions about what is the difference in the, the technologies. For example, I, I was originally treated with a class three laser, which the science behind all the laser technology is it's measured in the strength. So a classification of a laser is based on the amount of watts that the laser puts out. So a class three or a class three B laser is at best 10 watts. And so the science behind that shows that that strength of a laser can only penetrate two to three inches into a patient. So if we have someone with a, that's a larger patient or we have a deep injury in the spinal cord or some hip placement, that, that strength of laser just isn't strong enough to get down and actually have healing effects that the lasers are capable of. So the lasers that we have, which are called class four, range from 30 watts in our clinic up to 60 watts, which is a huge jump from a class three B at 10 watts. So the science behind what a class four laser is capable of is really you know five and six inches of penetration, which can get to almost any person's different areas of chronic pain. So that's one of the big benefits between the two clinics or the two laser types is number one, the depth of penetration, but also within that wattage comes power and the amount of fuel that we're actually giving the body. So for example, a 30 minute treatment with a class three laser can only give about 9,000 joules. And I know nobody will know what that actually means, but when you compare that to a 60 watt laser in the same time frame, it's about 110,000 joules. So just in comparing what you're getting between the clinics, at one place you're getting two and a half inches of penetration and 9,000 increments of fuel. And the other one you're getting six, five to six inches of penetration and 100,000 increments of fuel. And that's why we have such a high success rate is because we're putting a lot more healing energy into the patients than any other laser type. You know, my, my advice to all of our patients is to do your own research. You know, there are other clinics in town that are offering laser therapy because the results are beginning to be undeniable. And so a lot of different practitioners are looking into investing in this for their own practice. So the person really has to look at what is the experience level of the person that's providing the service, but more importantly is what laser classifications are they using because there's one clinic in town that only uses a class 3B, but there are a few that have popped up that do have a class 4 laser, but we believe that they're still 15 watts. So that's still nothing compared to a 60 watt laser. And the other thing to consider is how does the clinic use the, the laser? For us, we exclusively treat pain with lasers. So if a chiropractor picks up a laser because he's read the white papers that they're successful, he's not gonna have the experience to use it in the way that we use it, and he's most likely gonna combine it with what he already does. So we exclusively work on pain with lasers, and that's one of the reasons that we're able to be successful. And for, we know for, for sure no one else in town is using a 60 watt class four laser and that's what really separates us.